Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 154 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career. And as you can pretty much tell already, this is going to be a bit of a special episode. Uh, because it is the World Cup, we're actually going to cover the whole of the World Cup tournament in today's episode. So we've got quite a few games to get through. Hopefully, that means that we are going to be able to get all the way through to the final game and then hopefully be the World Cup champions with England. That will be some way to end off a great season with Bayern Munich. So let's see if we can go all the way and lift the trophy at the very end. Fingers crossed we can. And then, of course, once the World Cup is over and done with, we will be heading back to Germany and some more domestic action for Bayern Munich and hopefully a long um, successful season ahead of us with more silverware as well so let's see how we get on but first before all the German Bayern Munich action let's concentrate on England first game up in the group stage is a game against Slovenia and as you see so far it's been a little bit tough trying to break um, down the, the defense it's still nil nil just over 20 minutes gone so pretty much still early doors here as England push forward Deli Alli plays it through and Raheem Sterling to give England the lead but it doesn't because there is the goalkeeper of black Great keeper, of course, keeping it out and pushing it out for a corner. So 25 minutes played. Corner gets swung in and almost finding Kai there. But oh, it has been kept in as well by Patrick Roberts. That one is a little bit too far, though. Finds Raheem Sterling, who finds Kai in the middle. Kai hits it. But that one wasn't really ready for that one. And he just smacked it too hard. Wasn't even on target. And into the second half we go. 25 minutes remaining, still nil-nil surprisingly. You would have thought this would have been an easy game for England, an easy three points in this group stage, but it is the first game in the group, so the teams never really want to go out and lose the first game, so they always play a little bit more cautiously. As Kai goes through, almost again giving England the lead, but this, the what was it, the crossbar or the post, keeping him out and keeping the scores here at nil-nil. The manager, Sam Allardyce, changing us to an all-out attack into the final five minutes now. And still, nobody has been able to break the deadlock. That's a nice ball through, almost finding the feet of Kai. Kai's coming on a 7-point now rating. Surprised he hasn't scored yet. To be honest, surprised nobody's scored, in fact. Uh, Slovenia pushing forward. Are oh, they going to have a shock here and make England lose. Fingers crossed we don't. We've got two minutes of injury time to play. Kai's played in there in the middle. He cuts inside between two and he slid that one a little bit too far. It goes wide of the goal and another chance there goes back in for Kai. And look at that. None of curl on it. Just wide of that far post. And I think that is going to be game over in this one. The first game of the World Cup is going to end goalless. It is indeed. There is the final whistle. So, good result for Slovenia. Not so good for England. Who do we take on next? We take on Cameroon. We are classed as the away team for this game. Uh, but we should be okay in our white kit. Yeah, we should be. So, in our white kit with the red socks. Cameroon in their normal strip as well. Let's see if we can finally get ourselves our first World Cup goal of this tournament. And hopefully that is going to be in the way of Kai as well. He had a pretty decent season. You remember he did start the season off with Manchester United. Joining Manchester United from Juve uh, last summer. Uh, but things didn't go quite well for Kai in Manchester. He decided to leave in January after being dropped after a little bit of an injury. You remember he did get an injury and then he was dropped because Marcus Rashford was just scoring, scoring goals for fun. And Kai was finding it hard to get himself back into the starting eleven. So he decided to move. We headed to Germany and we signed for Bayern Munich. And we had a pretty decent season scoring over 10 goals and that one should have been another goal. He's just not able to score for England, is he, right now in this World Cup? Uh, but like I said, he had a good season with, well, half season with Bayern Munich. We won a couple of trophies as well at the end. We won the Champions League and the Bundesliga title. So successful end to the season, even though it didn't start too great with United. And let's try and top it all with a World Cup winner's medal as well. But things are not looking too great right now. Kai's missing quite a few easy chances. Uh, but finally, he has broken the dead, deadlock. Five minutes before the first half whistle goes. Yeah, the half-time whistle goes, in fact. Uh, but he got there just ahead of the goalkeeper who almost had that one. But finally, there it is. The first goal of the World Cup for England. First goal of the World Cup for number 52, Kai Kwam. Is there going to be many more to come? 
I hope so. Well, let's just hold on for at least the victory. I'll take a 1-0 victory. As we did draw that first game against Slovenia, one goal to nil. So all we want is the win. That's a great ball over the top. Finds his man, Onomar, I think it is. And Kai hits it into that far post. And two goals. And already he's looking for a hat-trick. Can he get it? Took a while to come. Did miss a few chances in that first game against Slovenia. Missed a sitter in this game as well. But finally, he is scoring goals. Two goals already. Can he grab a hat-trick in this game against Cameroon? Let's wait and see. Not too long to play. 25 minutes remaining. And Cork just hold on possession. Now Holgate to Chamberlain. Chamberlain holding on to the possession now. Finds Kai in the middle. Kai's dropped a little bit too deep for my liking to be honest. But here's Ojo. Kai again. Does the defender. Shoots across the keeper. And that is the hat trick. 20 minutes remaining. And somehow the defence just let Kai turn him, he opened up the space as you can see here, nice little turn did the defender open up the space and boom, low driven shot across the keeper and as you know in FIFA 17 the low driven shots are pretty OP and it worked out well there for Kai, so he's on a hat trick two games in this World Cup and he's got three goals, much better reading that, uh, it could have gone horribly um, if we didn't get a goal in this game of course and we're even pushing for another here and Kai was he onside I think he has a chance for a fourth and he puts it past the keeper four goals and that is much much better from England much better from Kai as well he's finally finding the back of the net and look at that goalkeeper came out couldn't get down fast enough Kai slides in and pops away the fourth goal of the game fourth goal for him and what a game he has had. He's already on a 10 rating even before that fourth goal went in. And surely he's not going to go on and get a fifth, is he? He needs to cut this one back in the middle. Or he should have pulled that one back. Uh, but that pass was straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. And the final whistle is going to be blown very, very soon now. Have we got time for a fifth? Kai plays over the top. But unfortunately the player didn't. Was that Eric Dyer? Uh, he didn't carry on his run. But there is the final whistle. A nice victory for England after the disappointment in the first game. We did pick it up in this second one. And there we go. Five shots, four goals for Kai. And next up for England is um, the third game of the group stage. This one against Denmark. Uh, Denmark obviously not the greatest team right now. Uh, so it should be an easy win for England. But we could have said the same thing against Slovenia. So this one could go either way. It is a World Cup after all. Anybody can really beat anybody. It is England though who are going to get this one started. And there we go. Kai and Raheem Sterling taking the kickoff. And let's see if we can add to Kai's four goals from that game against Cameroon. Fingers crossed we can. We're going to look for an early goal here. Good interception there though from the Danish defence. And they're going to push forward on that far side. Now approaching 10 minutes gone in this game. So far no goals. But it's still early doors as you know. And here is Deli Alley inside for Ross Barkley. I think Ross Barkley is in fact the England captain for this World Cup competition. As Kai holds it up for an extra second shot comes in there. Eric Dyer it was with that shot. Off target though. And not troubling the defence or the goalkeeper. So score remains 0-0 in this third group stage game for England. Win or at the very least draw this game. And I think we will be progressing through to the knockout stages. And so we'll check to see who we do get... Uh, grouped against or drawn against if we do manage to get ourselves through yeah, but here is Kai has he got the pace to keep going turned inside and that's a nice finesse finish he just cut inside that defender had an extra second to take the shot off and he took it and how many times has he scored those finesse finishes just outside the area and that one probably one of the most important he's going to score right now and just outside the area boom goalkeeper no chance one goal to England 0 for Denmark, so it should be enough really to get us through to the next round, the knockout stages of the World Cup. As Kai plays that one over the top, Raheem Sterling only being short, could it win that, but Kai stealing it back. But Denmark again, fastest to react and cleared away surprisingly there by the computer. And there's a quick look at Sam Allardyce. Now Kai picking up the ball, tries to play it through, he does play it through, and Deli Ali smashes it into the back of the net. And I think that is going to wrap it up now. 2-0 England lead. Just over half an hour remaining in this game. And I think that is going to guarantee us a place in the knockout stages. Good little assist as well there from Kai. 
Uh, played a little lobbed through ball between two defenders, found Deli Ali, and a nice finish to score his first World Cup goal in this competition. In less than five minutes remaining, good strength shown there as Ross Barkley picks up that ball, plays it in the middle. And now Jack Cork to Kite. Kite, well played there from Kite. And unlucky Raheem Stone tried to get the shot off. But a good save there from the Danish goalkeeper, Busk. And Patrick Roberts, poor corner from him. Somehow though, does find the play. And there's Kai in the middle. And that one, that is going to wrap it up. Kai on the score sheet yet again. And third goal of the game then. Third goal for England. And another one for Kai to add to his World Cup tally. Now, we didn't really set him a goal target, did we, at the start of this competition? Um, but already, in three games, he's got six goals. Do you think we could reach ten goals? Uh, it always depends on how far we go in the competition, of course. But I guess with maybe three games to go, we could give him a tally of ten goals. Four more goals remaining then in the next three games. That will be quite some feat already with six goals. It's been quite... Uh, a competition for Kite, especially after not scoring in that first game. Now, but they can see the next game all for England in the round of 16, we take on Egypt. Egypt done fantastically well to get through to this round. Uh, Holland have just been knocked out there by Germany. France knocked out Uruguay. Uh, so let's see what England do, can do. Some other big teams already through as well. Some lesser teams as well. And South Africa, they made it through. Cameroon are in there. Romania too. Uh, Kai's not been chosen for this one, so fingers crossed this is not going to be the end of the tournament here for England. It should be an easy win for England, taking on Egypt, uh, but it is Harry Kane who comes in in place of Kai. And there's Odomar straight away giving England a one goal lead, seven minutes in. I think we're going to sim through this, to be honest. I don't want to watch it all. 2-0, uh, 3-0. Oh, yeah, this is looking good now for England. I think we'll skim it. There we go. 6-0 win there for England. Fantastic there as well for resting Kai Sam Allardyce. Very, very good play from him. And next up for England, as you can see there, we take on Sweden, who knocked out South Africa in the last round. So into the quarterfinals we go, and all the rest of the big teams are through as well. Argentina got knocked out though against Spain, two goals to one. So, as I said, England taking on Sweden in the quarterfinals of the World Cup competition. And Kai just needs four goals to hit double figures. Can he do it? Will he even score against Sweden? It was a bit of a blow to not play against Egypt. I think we could have really got quite a few goals if we did. Yeah, but never mind. England still managed to get themselves through to the next round. And here we are in the quarterfinals taking on Sweden. No idea who's playing for Sweden these days. Remember the year is 2026. So no Ibra. Uh, but I'm sure they've got a, quite a few decent youngsters to still cause a shock. As Kai plays it nicely through, just a little bit too much on that one though. Uh, goes straight into the hands of the Swedish goalkeeper and he clears it forward. Uh, but England winning possession straight away in midfield. Reese Oxford. Luke Shaw to Kai. Look how deep Kai is. He's running all the way back in fact. Plays it forward now. Ross Barkley in possession. Good vision there, finds Dele Alli, and now the chance is on, Raheem Sterling, the goalkeeper makes a good save, that one is going to go out of play for an English corner, well really, good attacking play there from England, and Kai didn't really have a say in that one, uh, but good save there from the goalkeeper, so here we go, another corner for England, just over half an hour gone, corner gets swung in, and punched away from the goalkeeper, and out for another corner, 6.2 rating right now for Kai, if he gets a Goal, oh, almost, he did manage to get to that, but the goalkeeper was there. No power, no angle on it really either there for Kai. Uh, but like I said, if Kai does get a goal, his rating will jump up. And already it's gone up a little bit into the second half. He's on the 7.1 rating right now. And uh, 10 minutes to play. And this one could go to extra time. Fingers crossed it doesn't. Oh, that's a dirty challenge. But the ref didn't see anything dirty about it. And Ross Barkley with a nice little interception. Ball played forward here, Jack Cork, or whatever his first name is, I think it is Jack Cork. And plays it inside there for Kai, Kai cuts inside, shoots near post, he should have gone across the keeper. If he shot across the goalkeeper, that could have easily been the winning goal, but no, he went for that near post. There's still another chance, and there's Kai again, he went for the lob. What is he doing? He's got six goals already in the World Cup, and two bad decisions there. He should have put either of them away. 
Uh, but the score remains 0-0. We are into extra time now here in the World Cup quarterfinals between England and Sweden. Who is going to come out on top? Is it going to go all the way to penalties? Cleared away here from England. And there's Holgate. And now Patrick Roberts plays a nice ball through. Holgate finds his man Jack Cook. And play through. And Holgate, he breaks the deadlock. And there we go, 95th minute of the game, England 1, Sweden 0. Is it Cork or is it Cook? It is Cook, isn't it? I'm sure I kept saying Cork, but it is Cook. So Cook it was with the assist for that goal. And Holgate, the right back I believe Holgate, Holgate is. And he breaks a deadlock, so a bit of a surprise there. He was pushing all the way forward, so a nice finish there. Mason Holgate getting his first World Cup goal of his career. And how important will it be? We've got five minutes remaining. Sweden are on the attack, trying to get themselves an equaliser. They have a good play there from Cook, although it is back into the England box. Sweden still looking dangerous just outside the area. Nicely played through. Good defensive work there from England. And now Onomar, he gets the nice ball, finds Kai, and he has three in support. If he can find one of them, he doesn't with the first pass, but he does with a second. And there's Holgate again. He hits it first time. And wow, what a game he has had. What an extra time he has had as well. Uh, two goals now now for England. That is pretty much going to wrap up this game. Raheem Sterling just tapping it on. Holgate hits it first time. And there we go. England 2, Sweden 0. It's his second goal of the game. Can he get a hat-trick? And a right back getting a hat-trick in the World Cup quarterfinals. That would be something. But there you can see confirmation of the two goals from Holgate. And England are going to be going through to the World Cup semi-finals. As you know, this is a long episode, so maybe we could just get to that final. There is the final whistle. A good victory in the end for England. We really stepped it up in the extra time period. And look who we'll have next. In the semi-finals, we take on Germany, who knocked out France two goals to one in their quarters. Spain knocked out um, Portugal two goals to one. And Belgium, they're also in the semi-finals. They knocked out Brazil, surprisingly, three goals to one. So a very good performance from Belgium and they could even go all the way to the final if they do get to the final. They of course have a chance of taking on England. But we've got to take out Germany first. Let's see, this is for a place in the World Cup Finals. We are in our red kit today, I think this is the first time we've wore our red strip in this World Cup Finals. Now, but here we go, let's try and get ourselves an early goal, settle our nerves and then we can push forward. Uh, for a few more if we can. Kai trying to battle there with the German defence, but the German defence come out on top. Uh, Leroy Sane playing it safely there. Mustafi, former Arsenal teammate, of course, of Kai. Onomot played inside. Now Holgate, who scored two goals in the last match. Kai. Oh, almost find his man there. 15 minutes gone. Still 0 0 against Germany. Who's going to come out on top? Here's Mustafi to Sane. Mustafi again. Germany got to be a little bit careful here. They give it away. Oh, what a finish that is. I thought that was going to go over for a second or even hit the crossbar. But somehow it went into the roof of the net. And what a finish that is. Out of nowhere. I was just about to say Germany played a little bit dangerously at the back. And there it was Raheem Sterling who stole it off the feet of Mustafi. And Kai just smashes it in with his... Outside of his right boot, I think he was, to get that um, curl on it to score his seventh World Cup goal of this tournament. Quite some feet there from Kai. And still, less than 20 minutes to play. Still time for him to get another. And there's wide open gap there. If he sees him, Deli Ali does see him. It's Raheem Sterling now in possession for England as he pushes forward. Is he going to get the crossing or is he just going to waste time? He gives it in the middle for Kai and somehow... He gets it past the goalkeeper and he scores his second goal of the game. That was his eighth now of this World Cup competition. And surely that is going to mean that the three Lions are heading into the World Cup final. No idea how he actually put that one away. It was on the inside of his right boot and he angled it perfectly past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. And what a summer this is proving to be for Kai. Remember at the start of the episode, we had a... A uh, disappointing draw against Slovenia. It was 0-0 in fact and Kai didn't really have a great game. And then he started slow against Cameroon. 
picked it up, ended up finishing the game with four goals, and he's going through here. Can he get another? What a goal. That is a beautiful lob shot past the goalkeeper, and that is his ninth World Cup goal. And wow, what a performance this has been from Kai. Look at this beautiful goal. Probably his goal of the tournament. He got taken out as well there by the goalkeeper, but it doesn't matter. The goal goes into the back of the net, or the ball goes into the back of the net. And I believe that is a hat-trick, right? I think it is. And he's going for another hit. Can he get there? He can't. The goalkeeper there fastest and cleared forward. But the final whistle blows. And there we go. England are into the World Cup final. Kai goes over to the referee to collect that ball. He's going to take it. He's picked up another hat-trick. It's his second hat-trick of this competition. And now it is Belgium. They knocked out Spain in the other semi-finals, so they have done superb to get this far. They knocked out Germany, uh, sorry, they knocked out Brazil, they knocked out Spain, and now will they take on England and knock them out as well to become the world champions for the first time in their history, I believe. Uh, but hopefully England can get the victory. We have gone all the way to the final, so even if we do lose now, we've had a great summer, Kai's bagged quite a few goals in this tournament which is even better for Kai and we're still trying to approach that 90 rating overall as well uh, so hopefully we can do that this uh, this season with Bayern Munich that's nicely played there from Kai the first shot of the game comes in Kai would have had the assist but Courtois he keeps out the shot of Deli Ali. he was going into that near post but good save there from the Belgian goalkeeper and Belgium got some quite decent players haven't they they've got Tillemans in there and uh, Lukaku's also made the start as well today. Kai takes it on. He takes the, the finesse volley, but too much on it. Goes wide of that far post. And just over 10 minutes to go. It's been all England so far, which is only good news for England as another shot comes in there from Kai. But again, straight into the hands of Courtois. And now Belgium in possession. Dendonka. Well played, Raheem Sterling stealing it off the feet of the midfielder, played inside for Kai. Kai tees it off for Patrick Roberts. And there we go, the deadlock has been broken. Only took 17 minutes in the World Cup final. And I think that is Patrick Roberts' first World Cup goal of his career, in fact. I was going to say of this tournament, but I think of his career. And Kai could have took the shot on himself there, but he decided to not be selfish. Just lay it off, give it to the feet of Patrick Roberts and... There we go, it is his first goal of the World Cup and what a time to score it in the World Cup final. Uh, less than 10 minutes to play in this first half. We are still leading by one goal to nil as we push forward for a second. If we can get a second in this first half, that will pretty much guarantee um, us going to be the World Cup winners. But Courtois makes a good double save there. They for Belgium, keeping them in this tie. And as that cross comes in there from Patrick Roberts to Kai. And we've actually won a penalty here. Five minutes to play in the first half. And Origi, I believe it is, who took down... Is it Ross Barkley? He bumped into the back of Ross Barkley. That is a little bit harsh, I've got to say. Uh, but he went through the back of him. He just nudged him, I think, with his shoulder. Uh, but we're going to take it. And it is going to be Kai who's going to take this spot kick. Can he double the lead for England? He can. The goalkeeper dives the wrong way. Penalty scored from Kai. That bumps him up to a 9 rating in the World Cup final. And I think that is double figures as well now for Kai in this World Cup tournament. What a tournament he has had. He's got to be man of this tournament. In fact, he's going to be the golden boot winner, no doubt. 10 goals. I don't think anybody's going to even come close to that tally. And we've still got time to try and get him another. Surely not another hat-trick. He needs two more goals for a hat-trick, which will, of course, mean three hat-tricks in total in this World Cup. Here he is now in possession. Nice little turn. Plays it through, and the shot comes in. Unlucky there. It should have been the third goal for England. And another chance there. Goes begging, but a good save there from Courtois. I think it was Patrick Roberts with that second shot. Deli Alley with the first, I believe it was. And there is a good save there from Courtois. Not long to play. If Belgium are going to fight their way back into this World Cup final. Ten minutes now. Still England lead. Two goals to nil. I think we are there, boys. I think England are going to be the World Cup winners. Belgium not really doing much to go forward with here. And there is Kai picking up that loose ball in midfield. Now Raheem Sterling. 
finds Kai, who was asking for it, plays it over the top, and Cook, oh, what a goal that would have been, it bounced on the wrong side of the line, but wow, great control, and he hit it first time, uh, but hits the crossbar, bounces down, not over the goal line, unfortunately, but I think if that one had gone in, that would have been the goal of the tournament, but Belgium pushing forward, here is Origi, who gave away that penalty in the first half, as you may remember. And Holgate, who scored two goals in extra time against Sweden. So they've all had their part to play. But there is the final whistle. It is England who are going to be lifting the World Cup trophy. And there it is, the England captain, Ross Barkley. He's going to be the one to lift it. There, it, there are all the players. Very, very happy. What a tournament we have had. And there we go, standing next to Kai. Ross Barkley to lift the World Cup trophy. England are the World Cup champions. And now that that is over, we can head back to Germany and concentrate on our domestic action with Bayern Munich and hopefully some more silverware to come and another successful season for Kai. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you boys in pre-season with Bayern Munich.